Barbasol, Barbasol, no brush, no leather, no rubbing, wet your razor, then <laughs> Well, that's old singing Sam the Barbasol, man. Want you to know that today's episode of Bobby Barbasol, the Barbasol Boy, is brought to you by the fine folks at Barbasol, who recommend that you shave every day with their new Barbasol brushless shaving cream. Barbasol, it's Barbasol you need. I love it when I've got all my little Barbasol products around me. Look at that shelf. I just took some of the stuff out that I had, some new cans and then some old ones and then body wash and aftershave. Now, if you know me, you know that I'm Bobby Barbasol, the Barbasol boy, self-proclaimed. I've always been a big fan of their shaving cream. This is the one I use, the modern day, and I've tried all those. I also have these old ones in the tube, you know, the way they used to come. I think this is from the 1940s, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. And they came in these little tubes, mostly, I think. Oh, no. Yeah, they came in these little metal tubes. So I'd, I've used this one in a, uh, those are some... Some war bond stamps that just fell out of there. So for all you philatelists out there, you're cringing now as I drop these valuable wartime stamps, U.S. postage with FDR on there. This was sent to me by a friend and viewer down in Australia, if I'm not mistaken. So thank you again. I can't remember your name because I didn't look it up before I did this. But anyway, so this is how they used to come in the old days. You know they come now in the cans like that. But also back in the old days, in the, you know, at the same time as all these tubes, they came at in these glass jars. This is the giant jar. And this one, none of, now, I can't, it's hard to date these products because they just don't have dates on them. And if you try to do a U.S. Patent Office search like I did, trying to find out when this came from, it's... It's beyond me. Now, I'm sure you can do it easily. It's just beyond me <laughs> and the amount of work that I want to do to figure out the date. I'm going to say this is probably 1930s, 1940s. They have different tops. Some have a little white thing. This is kind of, a, what would you say, embossed into the, is that the correct term? Anyway, this is the glass jar. Let me take it out. And you see tons of these empty, empty on eBay. I mean, they have millions of people saved these because they are solid, heavy-duty glass, and you could put all kinds of stuff in them. Imagine, you know, you're a housewife in the 1940s, you're a guy in the 1940s out in your garage, and you want to put your screws in there, you want to put your money, change, the kids, your swear jar, whatever. So there's millions of these on eBay. But to find them brand new, like this, unopened, unused, that's a rare thing. So my buddy on Instagram, and I've got an account there, at Sinatra Lennon, uh, he and I are like, like, Whenever we come across these, mostly him, he sends them to me. And uh, gosh, I'm blanking on your name too. God, I'm terrible. Hold on a second. I'm going to find out because, you know, you're the one that turned me on to this and that's the reason why I'm using this. So hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. I got this from Cam. So thank you, Cam. Elvis Presley, 1968 over there on Instagram. He bought a jar of this uh, a while ago, like a year and a half or so. And then he said, hey, there's another one for sale. It was like 20 bucks or something. So I bought it and it's time to shave with it. Enough talk. I took a shower, did my hair, I'm going to put some hot water on my face because we're shaving with the old stuff today. So we got to get that face ready. Let me get this hot water in here, all warmed up, and in my little basin down there. Ah. Now, what am I going to use to shave with? Well, of course, I'm going to use this. This is brushless shaving cream, by the way. So it does not lather. It's just like a thick cream, a slick, thick cream that you put on your face. And uh, it smells pretty much exactly like these old Barbasols. They had a different medicinal scent back then, which they don't have today, luckily. And if you're also familiar with my channel, you know that Barbasol has come out with their new 1919, which is kind of a throwback to this, but this smells way better. It's way more for the modern nose and palate. So yeah, they went back to the classic shaving cream, which they never gave up on. And I'm gonna use a razor. A Barbasol razor from the 1930s that I used in an earlier, it's chromium, ooh, fancy. That must have been a fancy one. I know it must have come in like a fancy carrying case, but now the box is the fancy carrying case for this 1930s floating head Barbasol razor, which I've used before. It says Barbasol right there on the little band. So let's put that over there. Now, what kind of blade am I gonna use? Let me show you how this comes undone. So you screw the bottom part off and the top comes off. So it's a two-piece razor. 
Now I have this handy dandy pack of Barbasol blades in handy dispensers. I got this off eBay a couple year or two ago, something like that. And it is full of, oh gosh, am I doing this right? Yeah, full of razor blades in their little containers. Now look at the little pack it comes in. Look at this little thing. This is so awesome. You push out, you push that and then the blade comes out. Now it is jammed up because these things were, did have oil on them. And that oil over the years turned into like glue almost. So it's extremely hard to get the blades out. Uh, try to use them. They don't stand up for modern shaving uh, for whatever reason, it's just the age or the glue or whatever. So I'm not gonna use these. I just wanna shoot them off because they're so cool. Look at that, that's so cool. Oh, look at that ancient thing sitting on a shelf for decades. And so I'm gonna use just an old feather blade. Now nah, that way for nothing for a feather blade. Here's how you put it on this old Barbasol razor. Stick it in the head like that, put the body on, and then start screwing it down. All right, let's see, does that work right? Oh, it doesn't, okay, good. And this one's a very nicely designed razor. It's solid, it looks good. I love these little bullets. It's like the, the headlights, those headlight things, like the brazier things on the front of a 50s or Cadillac, you know? <laughs> anyway, I like the design. Now, let's see, oh, and for aftershave, I just happen to have some Barbasol face and body lotion. And all of this stuff, by the way, was purchased by little old me, except for that sign, which a friend of the channel sent many, many years ago. And I tried to stick it up there. I was gonna stick it up there for good, but it started removing the paint. I don't know if you can see, there's a little speck right there. So I keep that over in my little man cave area. Okay, let's start to shave with this stuff. With this weird old jar, heavy man. This thing is heavy duty. So there's what the top looks like. Ooh, whoa, it's infinity. <laughs> and there's a little cardboard thing. God, this is some old thin cardboard. Let's peel that off carefully. There we go, put that in the top. And there we have it, folks. Rich, ooh, that weird medicinal 1930s smelling, yeah. It just smells like what I, what I imagine everything in a, in a pharmacy smelling like in the 1930s and 40s. You know, it smelled like medicine. It didn't smell like almonds and flowers back then. No, no. Back then, if you were using medicine, it was going to taste like medicine. If you were using shaving cream, it was going to smell like industrial strength something or other. Ooh, it's a funky smell, but we're going to use it. It's, it's got like a little pearlescent sheen to it, which is cool. Now, I feel kind of bad using this because it hasn't been used but it was made to be used. So let's use it. Here we go. I hope I don't stick my finger in there. Something bites it off. That'd be weird. Ooh, weird consistency. <laughs> I've never, you know, whenever I use the old tubes, I just get it out of the tube, you know, screw it. I've never been able to stick my finger in a whole jar of nasty old weird Barbasol. It says Barbasol on the outside, in case you didn't notice. Put that down carefully so I don't shatter it. Okay, let's smear some of this on. Like I said, it does not lather. It's just like a thick, rich cream and it still feels slick you know it smells like it's supposed to this is what this stuff's supposed to smell like because all of my jars i got what are all my tubes one two three tubes of it from different eras from the 40s 50s 60s it all smells the same and still they, until they changed it up that would have been something to have try the first change in formula of ours all that'd be cool all right so that's what you do you just smear it on. Here goes some ancient Barbasol down the, down the pipes. All right, let's get to shaving, shall we? Got the old feather blade and the old 1930s bar. Ooh, there's kind of a, speaking of sheen, there's like in my little tub where I just washed my, my fingers off, there's like a little bit of a strange sheen from this. All right, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it shaves. See if it's slick, see if it cushions. Okay, let's see here. See if it clogs, that's another thing. I prefer shaving soaps that lather, of course, just cause. But I love the scent of this one. But it does, I do have, it does have some drawbacks. Like it does disappear on me sometimes so I can't see where I've shaved. And it does sometimes clog the razor a little bit. But this thing, wow, this stuff is really smooth. This stuff is really, really smooth for being as old as it is. You know, it's been taken care of, obviously. That jar 
wherever he was sitting for the past, you know, God, 80 some odd years or who knows, who knows? I don't know how old it is exactly. Because they were selling the tubes at the same time they were selling these glass jars. And they did change the top of the glass jars a few times. And then in the 60s, they went to a plastic tub. So it's been kind of a, a staple of the Barbasol lineup until probably recent years. But they, uh, I, as far as I can tell, they've always had a brushless shaving cream in their lineup. And I have some of that. I should have got that out. Where the heck is it? Before they came out with the 1919, they had, oh, where is it? Oh, shucks. Oh, well. I've got it somewhere, but they've got it. They make it. Uh, I don't think they make it anymore because of the 1919. But I believe it was a sensitive skin, non-foaming, brushless shaving cream. This is actually not clogging at all. It's coming off there really well. This is just a beautifully designed safety razor. It's like the perfect length. And this stuff is really good. It's my, my face feels smooth right here. It feels dry and smooth. That's incredible to me. I love doing this kind of stuff. And I know I've mentioned him before. Steve 1989 with his MREs. He opens up those old, 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 old things and eats them. You know, he'll eat hardtack from the Civil War. He'll eat, you know, combat rations from Vietnam era, World War II, K rations. So I think of him whenever I find these uh, new old stock products that I actually use. Now, I'm not going to be smoking any cigarettes from an MRE, MRE pack or anything. I don't smoke, but uh, I will shave with some old Barbasol. Steve, if you're out there watching, have you ever uh, come across some of that stuff? And you don't want to use it? Send it my way. Shaving stuff, I mean. Okay. So there's the first pass. Let's see how it feels. Yeah. It could tell you. I got some more work to do, especially down here. Now, my skin doesn't feel slick right now, like it hasn't left any residual real slickness, but it feels soft, so that's something. Okay, second time, we're gonna dig our, oh, that's such a weird consistency. <laughs> like, it starts to give way in a, in a way you're not expecting. It, I, maybe I thought it was gonna be like buttercream frosting, but it's not. It's like cold cream, but it's got a stiffness at first that gives away, <laughs> that gives way. And that's what's kind of off-putting. I'm going to do like this this time and just smear it between my hands. I don't need as much because now a lot of the whiskers are gone. There's that medicinal band-aid smell. It smells like an old band-aid, an old bandage. Strange. Yeah, I wonder who decided, you know what, guys? It's a modern era. Hey, it's the 50s. Hey, it's the 60s, whatever. Let's change the scent. This old stuff is no good anymore, man. <laughs> that's, how, that's how they talked, right? All right, second pass across the green with the 1930s. I wish I could find some vintage uh, Barbasol aftershave. I have that modern Barbasol. I'm having to do like a weatherman. I'm doing this in reverse. That's modern uh, Barbasol aftershave. That I was going to use, but it doesn't smell like this, which smells like the original. And they don't make this anymore, so don't you can't find it. I bought this like three years ago now at a big lot. So I don't think they make it anymore. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Hmm. I think this vintage Barbasol might be in the best condition. I think maybe being in the glass helps. Because, you know, it could react with the metal of the tube, depending on what's in that metal. But glass usually preserves things a lot better. And there's not going to be particulate matter. There's another YouTube channel that I like to watch, and I can't remember the name of it, because I've never known the name. I just search up eating old canned food. It's like uh, New England wildlife outdoors or something like that. But he's a, he's a guy that, you know, has all this old un unopened canned food and he eats it, he tries it out like macaroni and cheese from 1938. You know, he'll cook it and heat it up and try it. So I think of him too when I do these old things. I love going to antique stores and finding products that are still, you know, in the original packaging unused. And that's probably going to get harder and harder to find, you know. Or the things you find are going to be, you know, more and more recent. How finite is the antique market as far as things are concerned, like antique clothes, suits, 
I know furniture can last hundreds of years, no problem, but I'm talking like disposable antique stuff, like little knickknacks and things. When are we gonna run out? Or when are they just, be interesting. When was the, when did, sorry, I'm just thinking out loud here, folks. When did people start thinking of antiques as antiques? Do have, when, when they got to a certain level where they are comfortable, they got all the food they want, they got shelter, then they can start thinking, okay, let's make art, let's make music, let's go look at old stuff and appreciate it again. Interesting. All right, third pass. Let me get it from the edges. Kind of like when you're eating ice cream out of a little tub and the sides are melting because you're holding it and you eat those first. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't pretend like you don't. Third pass. Just gonna smear it on this time. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This stuff is really good. It's really good. I wish, I wish more people could try it. It's out there still. I mean, it's, Lord knows, there's, there's probably some old, you know, Ben Franklin store in Mississippi somewhere, or some old TG&Y store in Texas, or a Wins Five and Dime, you know, put the top back on there. Let it dry out, put it back in. The fact that it has its original box, even though it doesn't have the top, that's pretty cool too. Giant jar, no brush, no lather, no rub in. Just wet your razor and begin. Like the song said at the beginning of the video, that's an old, old jingle for Barbasol. Okay, mm, got a little nick there, that's all right. I'll tell you what, this is a, a couple of nicks. I need to slow down. I'm not that familiar with this razor. I don't use it very much to remember. Uh, my track record with it. Ah, let's go. Mm -hmm. Slow down there, Sinatra. Slow down there, old boy. What would I change about this razor? I'm not sure. Not sure. It's closed comb, even though it looks like it's open, you know? It's got the bar, the safety bar. Interesting. I love the two-piece nature of it. It's a great design. I know there are others like that. I think some of the Mulas are like that. Or maybe it's the Merkers. Merkers, right? Something like that. Correct me, please, if I'm wrong. I'm here to learn as much as you guys are. I may sound like I know what I'm talking about, but half the time I'm just kind of, well, all of the time I'm flying by the seat of my pants. And half of that time I'm just going off the top of my head. And then a third of that time I'm just making garbage up. And then about an eighth of the time I'm just straight out lying to you. Not really, I'm just kidding folks. I got nothing to lie about when it comes to shaving. <laughs> all right, yeah, you know, before I wash this stuff off, and I'm just feeling like as I put my hand on my face, it's so super smooth. It's crazy. It feels good. It feels like cushioned. Yeah, okay, let me get the problem areas like I always need to. Down from the left ear, towards the jugular, or towards the, not the jugular. <laughs> it's like right here. Towards the Adam's apple. Mm, get under there. Don't want any of those little stragglers. All right, that feels pretty good. Ooh, it does feel smooth. Before I wash it off, it's got a lingering smoothness to it. You know, like a, it does have a slickness when it's on, but let me wash it off. Cause I'm going to put on the, oh, use cold water by the way. Ooh. I tried to buy a styptic pencil today, but I didn't see one of the, the Walgreens I was at, or was I at a CVS? I prefer Walgreens over CVS. I'm not sure why. I think it's the decor. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's the history, too. It's the layout. Something about the Walgreens. I don't know. I just prefer it. Okay. I'm still bleeding. Doctor. Woo. Hey, I tell you what. That's a pretty fine shave. That is a fine shave. A combination, ancient and ancient and modern blade inside and pretty ancient guy. Uh, not that ancient. I like playing the part though. You know, once you get past 50, you can start using your age as an excuse for everything. Don't necessarily do that if you don't have to. Okay, try me. 
Barbasol face and body lotion moisturizing. You probably shouldn't use this as after a after age as aftershave, but it is. It does say body or a face and body, so I'm just gonna put a tiny bit. Ooh, I do like it. it smells just like regular old Barbasol in a can. That one right there. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. Can't get that anymore. Can't get it. Or can you? I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, that's it. Man, I am, uh, you should see, I got all these little boxes of Barbasol over here. I got cans, I got bottles, I got things. I got, I, now I gotta, see, now I gotta put all this stuff back. Oh boy. No, thanks for joining me, everybody. This was really cool and I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks again, Cam, for, you know, hooking me up with this or, you know, turning me on to it. And then I went and bought it. I think it was on eBay. Like I said, it was like 20 bucks, but heavy, man, heavy duty still. Hmm. I wonder who's going to finish that jar. Think somebody's going to finish that jar eventually? Probably not. It'll probably be in a museum. Hey, Barbasol, if you need anything for your museum, I'd be happy to send you some stuff. Just put a little plaque that says, on loan from Sinatra Land. <laughs> or uh, a, a gift from Sinatra Land, because I don't want it back. Anyway, oh, sorry, I just, Alexa's calling me. Gotta go. All right, everybody, have a great weekend, and I'll see you all very soon.